What's up, guys? Today is Monday. That means it's Joe's All-Star Tool Monday. Me and Wally need a break because we've had an aggravating job we got going. And thankfully, Joe showed up. So let's take a look, see what he's got on the trip today. You guys, come on. What do you think? Try not to. Uh huh. It hurts the head. Whip sockets. Think it hurts the head. Well, Joe shined some light on the situation, didn't he? Uh huh. What do you think about it, Joe? Well. <laughs> We're gonna talk about tools first, then we'll talk about what we think about it, because we don't like what we think about it. One of them days, I have red back boots. I got a bunch of them. Yep, them are good boots. I got uh, a bunch of the bamboo socks. Yeah. I think these are like 10 bucks a pair. A bunch of them, a bunch of those. A couple, Walkie, couple uh, Milwaukee rechargeable lights. Let's go ahead. Um, Wally's the only one that ain't got a pair of red backs. You don't have no red backs? Mm -mm. He ain't got no red backs. Red back socks. What? No, I was born in America. <laughs> uh, I believe these are 73 and 83. Got 445 looms. I believe you can turn down. 700 looms. That spotter flood does here pulls out. Right. Both rechargeable. Nice. I got a bunch of those. What is this? A power oh, you, charger cell I phone? Did, I didn't show you this. Okay, I thought I did. Uh -uh. This here is new. It's a charger, but it's a power supply. But what it is, is for the guys that have the Milwaukee heated jackets. Right. And they don't get enough run time. This here will convert their a small. When I say small, I got the biggest 3.0, right. 3 but this will fit in that pocket on the side. Right. Not way too much more, but it'll give you three to four times more run time because oh, it's got nice. 18 volt. Nice. How much does that run? The cap thing is 60. That's nice. And of course, they have charge it set up so you can charge too. your cell phone too and everything else. That's it. It'll fit in that pocket. It's not that big, not that heavy compared to this with the part on it. It is a little bigger, right. but you're getting three, four times the run time. That's cool. All right. I thought I did show you that. So anyways. Uh-oh. He done took his hat off and threw it down like, like Uncle Jesse on the Dukes why, boys. That's why Packer hat. So I talked to this guy, we'll call him Craig because that is his first name, but he, from Ford. Well, if he I screwed called, you over, just Ford. tell everybody his last name. Well, hey. We're, we're <laughs> going to get in there because <laughs> we're just, we're just getting in this, but he calls me back and he, you know, he waits till about the end of the day and I was waiting all day and I was going to call him the next day because I had his number. It's like, oh, you guys didn't call me either. He tells me there's nothing that they will do. And I go, and I, I kind of, you know, question. I says, you've seen all this stuff that's done, all the stuff that, you know, I've, and he's going, yeah, yeah. He says, but uh, Tennessee and Illinois, he says, their laws are, uh, you know, either in the first 12 months, 12,000 miles, or two years, 24,000 miles. I go, you got to be kidding me. I says, you see all the stuff that's been done in that time? And he goes, yeah. I says, what? Because I didn't complain. He says, I says, this isn't right. I says, I'm calling you guys to make this right for me. I says, what can you do? He says, well, can't do nothing. I go, well, I'm not really happy with this, this kind of outcome or this situation. I says, who, who can I talk to? I says, there's got to be something else I can talk to. He tells me there is nobody higher up than Craig. So Craig must own Ford Motor Company. He must be the one that signs the checks. He, he's <laughs> he's got to be the one, but I'm gonna say I, he ain't. I put a call back into him. He hasn't called me back yet. Because 
I also asked them to send me a copy of a hard copy of all my stuff. You know, all my different receipts from different uh, things done different places because I explained to them when I go to Ford here or Ford there, they say they can't see what the other Ford dealers have done. I said, I want a full record. He said, well, I can send you an email. Well, I didn't get that either. Imagine that. <laughs> and uh, I says, so I call him again, left a message. He says, look, I asked you. I'd like you to, you know, get all this sent to me. He says, I know you said you had a copy of it right there. And, you know, if it's too much for you to do, you can have one of your other people do it because they're the boss. Yep. But uh, he tells me there's nobody higher up than him. But So if he owns Ford, I know all his customers are his boss. So, Man, that what, A couple of you guys have mentioned, you know, and, and he never mentioned this. You know, he was selling on buyback. Lemon Law is separate, is it? I don't know. Uh, I've never gone gone through this. So, and you guys know a Lemon Law lawyer? <laughs> Please let me know. There you go. Um, if when you guys are a lawyer, let's talk. Because <laughs> <laughs> I this is this is ridiculous, and I'm gonna get a copy. I'm gonna pave it out here, and we'll show it up somehow. If he don't send it to me, I'll get it. But there's about 18 different times I've been in for. Warranty work, something breaking, coming apart multiple times. You know, three different times I've been in there with an alternator and had to wait two weeks each time to get an alternator put on this. Yeah. You know, that's ridiculous. Um, it can go on, but I'm just going to kind of get it, <laughs> lay it out because I need help with this. And I think all of us in, a, in the U.S. and other countries can all get on Ford and talk to Mr. Craig and see why it is he won't want to talk with me or kind of make things right. I bet he ain't cutting the checks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to say, know, I'm going to throw I, that out there. I, I'm going to say he's I, probably I not the man. I had that feeling too because. Because I'm going to say the man don't talk on the phone. When I asked him, you know, I said, is there somebody else higher up? He starts getting all, Defensive. I, I want to say frustrated, but he started raising his voice and, you know, getting on and cutting over me. I go, wait a minute, I'm not raising my voice to you. I says, I'm just asking you if there's somebody else to talk right. to. But again, he tells me there's He's nobody the higher, man. nobody higher up than him. Craig Ford. So, I Mr. Guess. Craig, there you go. I do have a message to you. There will be probably be another one. Do return my calls. Let's get this worked out because we need to get this done. This, there's just something wrong with this. There you go. Um, other than that, I hope you guys all have a great Thanksgiving coming up. Uh -huh. So I'm going to be looking forward to making all, remember I said this all the time, make all the cooks feel special. You made that? Oh, give me some more. You made that? Give me some more of that. <laughs> so make all the cooks feel special. Yep. That way they always want to cook more. And then when you finish some, you go, oh, Aunt, pa Ed, Aunt Pat, you need to make more of this. There you so go. thank you guys. Enjoy your Thanksgiving. Enjoy your families. And, uh, Safe trips wherever you got to go because I heard there's going to be a big storm where I'm going. Uh oh. You know, all the fun. All right, guys. Like always, check the links down in the description for cool tools, discount codes, and all that good stuff. If you like the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. And Craig, if you own Ford, <laughs> you, you're, you suck at your job. Hit that thumbs up. <laughs> Click that subscribe button. You guys have a great one. We'll catch you next time. That's right, Craig. You suck. <laughs>